Well, we're at the Preston Guild Hall. We're looking forward to Sunday's finals day, men's quarterfinals, but the topic we're going to be talking about are ladies' semi-finals. Four ladies still standing in the competition, and I'm joined by none other than the 10-time Lakeside World Champion, Trina Gulliver. Trina, let's have a little chat about those semi-finals coming up on Sunday afternoon, the first of which, Ros Bulmer taking on Fallon Sherrock. Thoughts? Well, Ross, it, she's she's been the surprise of the tournament really so far. Uh, no disrespect, but she's she's uh, she's playing really well. And she's looking really comfortable and and confident up there as well. Yeah, started off with that win over Dieter Hebben in the first round. Yes, which was a surprise. That was a surprise, really. You know, um, uh, so. Uh, thumbs up for that you know and uh, Saturday she took on Sharon Prins now we discussed that match previously wondering if Sharon's experience would tell Ros came out a 4-0 winner absolutely you know another surprise going on going on uh, experience again but uh, yeah she's doing she's doing really well I'm really impressed with her now you've seen a lot of players come and go through the years you've been involved is it a case with some players as far as their stage game's concerned, you've either got it or you haven't. To me, she looks so comfortable up there. She does. She looks really comfortable. And, and um, like you say, you know, some people have that stage presence. And she just looks completely comfortable. Completely comfortable up there. So, yeah. So she's going to be taking on Fallon Sherrick, who, despite being still in her early 20s, is again the more experienced of the two. What a great match he had on Saturday uh, with Maria O'Brien. Maria led 3-0, and then... I know, amazing, and absolutely amazing. She completely turned it around, showed her, showed her form, showed her, uh, her confidence, uh, and like I said, you know, uh, a week ago she was did the double in, in Belgium. And she is buzzing. She is buzzing with that. She's she's filled with confidence at the moment. So and and that com, that game completely showed that she did. Yeah, the thing I noticed from three 0 down, her expression never changed. Straight in with a one eighty, almost perfect on the doubles from there on in. Felt that she could win from three 0 down. Looked really comfortable. Yeah, just just never gave up at all. It was a perfect game for her. So, the head-to-head, -head, Ros Bulmer taking on Fallon Sherrick. We move up to the best of nine legs. Any forecasts for this one? Uh, do you know what? It's, it's a real, real difficult one because Ros is playing so well. She's full of confidence. However, Fallon is too. So, I, I think it's going to be a really tight game. But you did say before that you think Fallon's won maybe for the title. You sticking with that? I don't want to, yes, I am. <laughs> I don't want to, yes, is the final answer for our first semi-final. When we look at our second semi-final in the BDO World Trophy Ladies Competition, two big names, Lorraine Wynne Stanley taking on Anastasia de Bromoslova. Lorraine Wynne Stanley's coming to this as the number one seed, has looked very, very confident and comfortable indeed. Yes, uh, absolutely, you know, and... and she is on form. She's having a good season, and uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough game as well because you know they're best friends as well, and it's always hard to play to play best friends. It's always always hard. That's a very good point. They play a lot of pairs together, don't they? They travel the circuit side by side, whether they're playing each other or not. So yes, Lorraine against Anastasia. There's two battles going on. But when I've seen them play in the past, as I'm sure you have, when they're on the hockey, it's business. Oh yeah, of course. It's like it's like me and Lisa. When we're on the hockey, it's business. Me and Lisa are best friends as well. So, but that it's going to be that's going to be a tough one. And they're both playing really well at the moment as well. So, that's going to be a really tough game. Lorraine has perhaps had the easier path. Uh, only dropped one leg against Paula Jacklin. Beat Anka Zelshow at four legs to nil. Anastasia. Well, well, I'm, we, yeah. Well, we haven't. We, we're not going to mention anything more about Anka Zelstra. She beat Trina. Um, but Anastasia obviously had a tough, tough match in Lisa Ashton on Saturday night. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, and that's... I, I thought it was going to go the other way, to be fair. Uh, but Anna played very, very well. 
and uh, so yeah she's just notched up just the highest average of the tournament um, over 82 we know she can do better than that Lisa seemed to be underperforming but I, I would give the credit there to Anastasia Anastasia got on top and stayed on top yes absolutely yes she did she 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 went from the start and and um, it was hard for Lisa then to pull it back you know she went she went too far down to to uh, pull that back so. I know you love it when I ask you to pick a winner so Lorraine's playing Anastasia who goes through to the final best of nine legs you know what I'm not so sure on that I'm gonna I actually gonna go for Lorraine you heard it here first Anastasia's going through to the final <laughs> Great to have Trina Gulliver with us, giving her forecasts. We're looking forward to Sunday's ladies semi-finals here at the BDO World Trophy in Preston. We hope you'll be joining us.